Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be ordering and hopefully eating some food from an app called Too Good To Go. If you're like me and you haven't actually heard of the app, I only heard of it a couple of days ago, my mum came around, so big shout out to you mum if you're watching this. So basically this app is an app where you can save food waste from some shops, some pubs do it as well actually, um, like the kind of, like the chain pubs I think, I haven't seen any others on there, to stop as much food waste as possible. Um, so I went on the app and it kind of gives you like a a range of how, how far out you want to go actually of shops and pubs that you can kind of order food to pick up later, like food bags, it's called a magic bag. So I've paid £3, a lot of the ones I'm looking at are around £3, £4 um, price and the stuff in there it's, it will retail at around £10 I think. It does differ between for which one you're... Um, which one you go for. So the only problem you might have with it is some places won't have leftovers. So you might go and put your order in like in the morning, like me, and then you get to the end of the day and they don't have anything. So to be fair, I've probably just chosen a silly day. I've done it on a Friday and everyone's probably gonna treat themselves on a Friday. So when I was looking this morning, I was gonna do Greg's, um, cause I thought, ooh, some sort of pastries, some pasties, some nice sort of things. But the only Greg's near me were all um, like in the centre of town sort of places that you have to park, pay for parking, blah, blah, blah. I didn't want to do that. So I've gone for two places. I've gone for Starbucks and um, I did go for co-op. Um, and this is the one that let me down earlier. So I put all, both of the orders in this morning, paid £3 for one, £4 for the other. I'll let you know when we're kind of into it. Um, and the co-op one let me know about 20 minutes ago that there was nothing left over, which is great for them. There's nothing left over, but really looking forward to it so i've gone and chosen spa which is just another shop um so i'm very hungry so i've got high hopes i'm hoping fingers crossed that there's going to be something in there that isn't just snacks because i haven't actually got anything else for that i can have for dinner so this is going to be my dinner so yeah this is quite a long intro isn't it so before we do get into it um please give this video a big thumbs up and if you are new here or if you're just returning and you haven't subscribed already please go and hit that subscribe button and whilst you're there you may as well hit the notification button too so you don't miss any of my future videos but i've blabbed on for long enough i hope i've given you enough information about the app go and download it it's quite a good one i obviously i didn't know about it so it, it, hopefully it'd be quite good anyway but three pounds for something that's worth ten pound or more to me is a winner really so i'm gonna go to spa now um, i won't take you in there with me because like i said it's the first time i've done it and i'm quite nervous so i i don't want to make myself more nervous by taking a camera in there too so i will see you when i've got my magic bag from spa i'm back and i've got my bag of hopefully goodies so did i say to you before how much it was so i paid three pound 39 for this um and on the thing it says it was worth 10 pound something so basically I'll show you that so you get given a code here like that um and you basically just go to the counter and just say that you've got a bag from too good to go to collect and they go and get stuff some of them um she did say that usually they would be ready with the bags but she wasn't ready for me so annoyingly i did see one i saw one thing but because she was going over and picking it um but i looked away because i didn't want to I want it to be a surprise and I feel like a kid at Christmas so I'm opening it with you I haven't looked in there I haven't cheated let's have a look I don't also know whether I said but basically the stuff I think it did the stuff that you get is gonna either go out of date like soon or out I don't know I think it's going out of date soon it wouldn't be out of date would it maybe like today's date I don't know but the first one I'm picking up seems pretty good I've got some chicken nuggets i'm all right with some chicken nuggets they go off today so 20 what's the date today? yeah 25th so today's date they go off today but that's fine this one i'm looking at i don't i'm not gonna eat that put it the right way that is rice pudding that also goes off today i bet it all goes off today um yeah i really you know what I'm actually going to try it with you because I have never tried rice pudding. Am I, my, am I on my own or are you guys the same where you say you don't like something but you've actually never tried it? Because that's what I'm like with this. I've never tried it. I'll try it with you guys. So yeah, two little pots of rice pudding. <laughs> I've got two packs of ham. They both got sell bite. Ooh. 
both sad by dates of today. So she could have kept one back and given it to someone else, but um, I don't even know what if I'll have that with anything. I'm, I don't know. And then this is the best one. I'm happy with this one. We've got a little loaf of bread. A small white miche. Is that what they call it? Miche? I've never heard that as a slice of bread, but yeah. Pretty happy with that, to be fair. We can have some chicken nuggets and some nice warm, thick bread. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all right. So all of this for three pounds. I'm not actually gonna eat this now because I don't wanna eat bread and chicken nuggets for dinner and then go to Starbucks and there would be, there's something there that would've been way better. So I'm gonna hold off, fingers crossed it's better. Um, and yeah, I will show it all together and then we can eat some. So I will catch you next once I've been to Starbucks. The willpower, this has taken me to not look in this bag. I tell you, it's very strong. So I picked up my order. So I paid four pound for this Starbucks order. Hopefully it's a good one. It's quite a, it's not heavy, but it's quite a big, big sort of bag, isn't it? And there was actually, there was a couple in front of me um, who went up and asked for this and they were handed bag the same size, but it looked like it was only like, it looked like it was like down to here, like down to here full. So I think maybe, hopefully I've got a good one. It was easier with that other one, with the spa one because she tied the bag up, so I didn't look in it. But this one, it's just, you know. So I'm quite proud of myself. Anyway, let's have a look at the goodies. Can you see that? You'll see it before me. Let's see. Okay, there's four things in here, I think. Start off with this one. I don't think they're gonna say what it is. Oh, it feels a bit cold. I've got croissant what is that like an almond croissant hang on let me get the menu up and we can kind of piece together what we what we think it is i just said to my boyfriend when i got back i let him have a look in the bag without me looking um and afterwards i said does it look good and he was like mm. but he's quite fussy so he probably wouldn't eat i said would you eat any of it and he was like no i probably would right so i'm thinking that's an almond croissant with what is, I don't know what that is. Oh, you can't really see it on camera. It doesn't smell like anything either apart from croissant. So that's good. I find this really hard not to just eat it as I'm going. Right, let's try another thing. We've got another thing in a little pack. Feels very cold as well. Oh, there's another one. That's annoying. Couldn't they have mixed it up a bit? We've got another Oh, one croissant. I shouldn't be so ungrateful, should I? I paid four pound for this. These are two pound ninety each, so I've already got my money's worth. And these two, okay, I've got two toasties. Let's hope they're not the same. Yeah, they are. I've got two exactly the same things. That's annoying. Two. I've got two plant-based tomato. What are they? Tomato melt toasty. I don't like tomatoes. <laughs> but let's have a look at that. How much is the price of that? Um, 3 99 each. And I paid £4 for it. So that is pretty good, to be fair. I would have preferred, like, a bit of a mix-up. But I suppose I can only go with what's there. Can't really... Beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. But I don't like um, tomatoes. So I'm going to take out... I'm going to have these. So let's have a look at what the dates are on these. I think they're both... They're 25th, yeah, all 25th. First, well this, that's what I think I might have for my dinner. The chicken nuggets can go in the freezer. Probably have some of that bread tomorrow. Maybe something for breakfast in the morning. So I'm gonna have one of these melts um, for now. I'm also gonna try one of these croissants because why not? Why not? Let's see if I like it. It'll be a bit messy, isn't it? Yummy. Can't go wrong with a good croissant. Don't know if this is gonna sound silly, but what does almonds actually taste like? That tastes like nothing. So on their menu, if you haven't had it, on the Starbucks menu it says, a butter croissant filled with an almond filling, topped with toasted almond flakes and dusted with powdered sugar. Now, there you go, you can see the almond on it, but it doesn't really taste of anything. 
I don't think almond really has a strong taste anyway, does it? It's nice though, but I wouldn't pick it because it just tastes like nothing. I've never had an almond croissant as a starter. Oh. So, cheese. Oh right, okay, so they're quite stingy with spinning. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take that. Those, should I take tomatoes out? Should I? No, you know what, I'm gonna be brave. They're very tiny tomatoes, so I'm gonna put this under the grill. I'll be back with you when it's nice and warm and melted. Here it is. You've already seen it, don't know why I'm showing you it, but the driest looking sandwich I've ever seen. But we move, we move. Right, let's have a go. So I'll be brave and have a bit with the tomato in. Yeah. I was actually gonna pull the tomato out then. Mid eat, but don't you find it weird how your taste buds change as you get older? Like, that isn't actually that bad. Maybe I like tomatoes now. I shouldn't be so picky and judgy, should I? I've done well. So for, I say £7.50. I've got two Starbucks toasties, two Starbucks croissants, um, a loaf of bread, two packs of ham, chicken nuggets, some rice pudding. That was it, wasn't it? Was that everything? I think it was everything. So I've got nine things for £7.50. I've been pretty good. But however much that is full price, £2 something, I would rather go to Tesco's. Because they don't put much filling in it, do they? I'm finished with that sandwich. <clears throat> it was nice. It was nice. If you are looking for some plant-based food, that's very nice. But just not like enough filling, you know? Bread to filling ratio was not great. I'm gonna, like I said earlier, I'm gonna be brave and try some of this. In my head, I'm already hating it. I already think it's vile, but let's give it a go. Look how big it is. Oh, you've got a microwave. Oh, two seconds. There we go microwave see that's how much i know about rice pudding so for any oh, i just don't know about it you know i don't know what that smells like anyone who hasn't had rice pudding before or doesn't know what it tastes like i can't really show you this is what it looks like a yogurt but it's like it's like lumpy, you see? So I thought it was, you ate it cold, because my dad sometimes eats, eats it cold. He he just gets out like a tin or something and eats it. Um, I'm actually scared, right, it's just. Uh, I say uh, and I actually wanna go again. I just wanna, that is actually pieces of rice. For some reason, I thought that, I don't know what I thought it was. No, that's not for me. Pity, really, because I know they would have chucked it away, but now I feel guilty that I've got that and I'm gonna chuck it away. For some reason, I didn't think rice pudding actually had rice in it. That looks, that's literally like proper rice in like custard. People, some people who are probably watching this, actually most people are probably watching this thinking, are you stupid? Of course it is, but I've just never tried it. And I'm never gonna try it again. I was right, I should stick with what my brain tells me, don't eat certain things. That is everything. I've got enough food to last me. Like I said, I'm gonna have, might even have that toasty for some lunch tomorrow and the bread, might put some eggs on it, have some whatever breakfast in the morning. Um, but I think it's pretty good, to be fair. If you haven't tried it, go and try it. It does, I don't know about obviously where, it must be different where everyone lives. Picks up lots of different restaurants or shops or whatever. Give it a go because I've just spent seven pounds and got all of that stuff. So I think it's great. So if you did enjoy it, like I said at the beginning, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Um, let me know if you did enjoy it because we can do them again. It can be almost like a series of too good to go. We can try lots of different places. I do want to try Greg's and I want to try co-op as well. So hopefully next time, if you like this, hopefully next time we can try those. So yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.